The new winter parking restrictions in St. Paul went into effect today at noon. Uh, just like in Minneapolis now, drivers in St. Paul can no longer park on the even side of a residential street. This is only the second time this parking restriction has been implemented in St. Paul. Our Lisa Meadows is in St. Paul with more. Hi, Lisa. Hi, Frank. Yeah, as you can see, this road here in St. Paul, everyone is following the rule. No one is parked here on the even side of the street. Now, I talked to residents. They said that they understand the reason for the restriction, but still comes at an inconvenience. The safety of our residents is the city's top priority. Officials say the time has come to put safety over convenience on the snow-laden streets of St. Paul. The record-breaking snow we've experienced over the past month has significantly narrowed many of our residential streets, limiting passability for neighbors and first responders alike. The winter parking restriction that went into effect today says drivers can no longer park on the even side of residential streets. I think it's tricky, uh, especially since I'm a renter, so street parking is the only option that I have. Um, and so it means that sometimes you're parking blocks away in the middle of the night in cold winter weather. St. Paul officials said they tried to postpone implementing the restriction until absolutely necessary. The snow depth for February ended up at 19 inches, which is the ninth deepest on record. After six continuous snow emergencies, officials felt this was the safest thing for the city. It's definitely helpful to give people the space that they need to move and the space that they need to get around these huge snow banks. Finding more ways to deal with snow until spring finally comes around. With this step, we can help to ensure that St. Paul remains safe as we continue to adapt to our winter weather conditions. And the restriction does go until April 1st. That is, unless before then we see these road conditions actually do improve. Oh, let's hope they do, Lisa. Thank you very much.